okay. Pre-trib rapture moment number 19. We're going to talk about the... Some people have a question. What about a rapture in Exodus chapter 19, verses 16 through 21? So let's read here. Exodus chapter 19, verse 16 says, And it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunders and lightnings and a thick cloud upon the mount and the voice of the trumpet exceeding loud so that all the people that was in the camp trembled. And Moses brought forth the people out of the camp to meet with God and they stood at the nether part of the mount. And Mount Sinai was altogether on a smoke because the Lord descended upon it in fire and the smoke thereof ascended as the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mount quaked greatly. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded long and waxed louder and louder, Moses spake, and God answered him by a voice. Very interesting. Verse 20, And the Lord came down upon Mount Sinai on the top of the mount, and the Lord called Moses up, up, to the top of the mount, and Moses went up. So you see a trumpet there, being sounded, that sounds like a voice, and Moses goes up. You got that? Now look at what the Lord says to Moses. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go down. Charge the people. Hmm. Lest they break through unto the Lord to gaze, and many of them perish. Huh. So in other words, these Jewish people didn't go up with Moses. And in fact, Moses went up, but had to go back down to minister to the people. Keep that in mind. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 51 and 52 says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. Is Moses dead? Yes. Is he going to go up eventually? Yeah. I believe as an Old Testament saint that actually he's up there right now. You know, he went up at the you know, first part of the resurrection there when Jesus Christ went up. But uh, very interesting because he's going to be up there when the body of Christ is up there. But Moses is going to come back down. And Elijah too. But let's continue. First Thessalonians chapter 14 verses or First Thessalonians chapter 4, excuse me, verses 16 through 18 says for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. Now you that one of the favorite things of, of all post-tribbers, they'll say, see, there's a trumpet. So that proves that the uh, tribulation, it's, you know, this last trumpet is, you know, that's the end there, you know, the, the seven trumpet judgments. No, because the seven trumpets are blown by angels. Okay? This trump here is the trump of God. And it's a voice. And it's a word that says that it's spelled T-R-U-M-P. There's no E-T at the end. It's a trump. A trump is the voice that the trumpet makes. The sound of the trumpet. It's not the same thing as a trumpet. That's a very important distinction. Okay? It's a voice that is spoken. Very important to understand that. Why? Well, Revelation chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. So the voice that speaks sounds like a trumpet. You see, you compare Scripture with Scripture. You don't just do like the post-tribbers and just lump everything all together and say it all just it all blends together. Don't worry about dividing it. Uh, no. What you need to do is you need to say, okay, does this line up with this? Does this line up with that? Oh, yeah, okay, I see how these certain verses line up and these other ones don't tie into it. It's not all saying the same thing. Back there in, in Revelation, it's talking about seven trumpets blown by angels. Okay? 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, Revelation chapter 4, it's all talking about a trump 
a, the voice of a trumpet that is actually God speaking. That's what it's talking about. But notice there in Exodus chapter 19, verse 20, God calls Moses up. 19, verse 21, God sends Moses down to, quote, charge the people. Revelation chapter 11, verses 3 through 7 says, And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth, and devoureth their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. These have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood, and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them, and shall overcome them, and kill them. For the... I don't know how many times I've said this, but again, I'll say it. The time of Jacob's trouble is about the Jews. That's why Moses and Elijah go back down. The two witnesses we just read about there. That's why they're there. Okay? The Orthodox Jewish people are not going to listen to a bunch of Christians. If Jesus Christ himself showed up, they wouldn't listen to him. But they will listen to Moses. They will listen to Elijah. Why? Moses is the law. Elijah is, he represents the prophets. Okay? They revere those two men. They will listen to them. You see, those Jews, back, back in Exodus chapter 19, they came up and they got to see God ascending or descending upon the mountain. You know, in a thick cloud, you know, like the body of Christ goes up to meet the Lord in the clouds. They see the Lord up there and Moses is called up. He goes up. And the people are afraid. They don't, they don't have the ability to go up there and be with God. So Moses has to come back down to them. All right? The same thing with the Jews today. An Orthodox Jew cannot come into the presence of God. Why? They're not born again. They're not saved. All right? A Christian, on the other hand, can go and be in the presence of God. Why? Because our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. We actually are part of the Lord. So we can be called up to be with the Lord. That's what's being pictured there. But when you have some liar that comes out and tries to use that, like I recently saw Mike Hoggard, he tried to use this thing of Exodus chapter 19 to prove a post-trib rapture. It doesn't work. Okay? What is going on there? And you say, well, that, that pictures the Christians, you know, going up. It does, but you have to be careful because in context, Moses, a Jew, goes up, but he comes back down. So you can't use that thing and say, well, see, you go through the tribulation and then you go up and, you know, at the end. No, that's not what's going on there. There's somebody that goes up and with us, with Christians, we're going to go up, but we don't have to come back down until the second coming when we go back down. That's why you see saints in heaven numerous times throughout the book of Revelation. The body of Christ is in heaven before the Antichrist is unleashed. You can watch my other studies to see the proof of that. But the, the fact of the matter is that if you're not part of that body, if you're not a Christian, if you're not genuinely saved, if you haven't come to God as a sinner and gotten repented of your self-righteousness, thinking that you can save yourself, if you haven't done that, you're not going up. You're going to get to stay down here and you're going to get to go through the tribulation, the time of Jacob's trouble as it's actually called. You better get saved. There's not much time left. Mm -hmm.